My name is Steve Wiedemann. I'm a scientist with FSA Consulting. This project is part of a federal government funded initiative known as the NAMP project, which is focusing on reducing greenhouse gas emissions from uh, the intensive livestock sectors. So the objectives of our project in broad terms are to reduce greenhouse gas emissions from uh, meat chicken housing and from layer hen housing, so there's two quite distinct parts of the poultry sector. Our experiment addresses the, the very first stage of the animal production cycle uh, and in the meat chicken sector I'll explain the two projects that we're looking at there. The first is about feeding high protein efficiency diets to meat chickens. So the aim of that is on one hand to maximise production. Uh, the outcome of that experiment was a, an 18% reduction in greenhouse gas emissions, which we were very happy about. Actually talking to the commercial uh, operator that we were involved with, they were able to improve bird production as well. So that's a great outcome for this project. Uh, admittedly, it's a slightly more expensive diet, so uh, that has to be taken into account uh, because what we really want to achieve is farmers uh, are actually able to make changes in these areas and that maximise their benefit. Uh, benefits to production and benefits to the environment. Also, we're looking to reduce impacts associated uh, with manure. Uh, so, uh, no system is 100% efficient and for meat chickens what we're really focused on is maximising protein efficiency in the system. Uh, and that means uh, achieving maximum uptake of that protein in the birds and reducing the amount of protein that's excreted in the manure. Now, when it gets into the manure, we tend to think about it in terms of nitrogen, and that's the primary constituent of protein, and uh, why nitrogen is so important is because there are a number of uh, gases that are losses from that system that we're trying to minimise. Nitrous oxide is the most important of those, uh, the second is ammonia, which is an indirect greenhouse gas emission. And we're also looking at methane to make sure that we're not uh, changing uh, the profile and hopefully we're actually decreasing methane emissions as well by modifying diets. So that's our first experiment and the real aim there is that we can improve the efficiency of bird management and by doing that, that we can also reduce greenhouse gas emissions. Uh, our second trial is to improve the way uh, meat chicken producers manage the litter in their sheds. So meat chicken sheds, uh, the birds are housed uh, on a litter floor. And one thing that farmers have the ability to manage is how that, that litter is treated, how much of it is put in the shed in the first place. Uh, and we were uh, looking at whether they could reduce the amount of litter that they put in the shed or conversely, add more litter uh, to change those uh, conditions in the shed uh, and thereby reduce emissions. So that was our, our second uh, trial. So the third experiment uh, is looking at uh, managing the emissions from layer hens. They are housed in, in quite a different system. The manure is removed every three to four days. And so what we were looking at is uh, a different way of managing that manure immediately after it's been removed from the shed. And again, a, a really simple strategy, uh, either covering those manure piles or leaving them uh, exposed to the environment. And at the present time, which is late October 2014, we have just uh, completed the experimental phase for the third trial in the layer sector and we're analysing the data for that now so I'm not able to present results on that. The whole basis of our experiment really is around uh, changes that farmers can really make at the ground level so we're not trying to do uh, blue sky research here, we're trying to, to actually investigate things that farmers can really affect and that reflects the nature of our experiments, all of them have uh, been on commercial farms and looking at things that uh, as we talk to farmers they could really change on the ground. It sounds pretty simple to just change the depth 
of litter, but we were able to show that that actually has uh, an effect on the total emissions from the system. The good thing about manure, it's not, we wouldn't consider it as a classic waste that needs to go into a landfill or be buried under a concrete bunker. It's part of a natural system. Uh, and for those nutrients to be returned to plants uh, is, is part of that natural process. So if we're able to reduce uh, any losses and reduce any adverse impacts, what we also do is we maximise the fertiliser benefit that farmers are able to get out of that manure at the end of the day.